spoil. No other way to describe it. Honda has given dirt riders way too many options. It used to be that if you wanted a dirt bike, you had to buy yourself a motocrosser and get to work. It was up to you to modify the thing. Want a trail bike? Then slap a bigger gas tank on there, add a skid plate, some new foot pegs, and a seat. Want a dual sport? You need to get yourself a headlight, a tail light, and some mirrors. But now, Honda just makes it too easy. You've got your CRF 450R. It's a beauty, powerful, fast, a purebred. Have you ever seen that silly kid ride? Or the other one, the handsome one, Roxon. Something else, I tell you. So, you've got the 450R, a monster motocrosser, but you've also got the 450RX, a trail blasting racer straight out of the box. So, by my count, that's two race ready models. What else do you need? Apparently, a bunch more. Enter the 450X. Motocross power for cross country riding. It's a desert warrior. You might catch a glimpse of one in Baja or some crazy trail you don't want to get lost on. And for those of you keeping score at home, that's three 450s. Should be enough for any sensible person, but not Honda. Allow me to introduce the CRF 450 RWE. Or as I call it, the CRF 450 LMNOP. <laughs> this is what's called the Works Edition, all decked out. I'd say it's best suited to establish dominance and let folks know who the Alpha is. But wait, there's more. This next one I like, it's the CRF 450L. And it's done right too. It's no dumbed down off-roader, it's an outright beast. It attacks the trail and the next one and the next one. And then it hits the road. And let's not forget about the 250. You remember the 250R Honda released last year? Well, it's got some updates. And because I guess there are some trail racing 250 folks out there, Honda has given you a gift, the new CRF 250RX. So how many bikes are we up to now? 20, 30? It's ridiculous. these days have no idea how good they've got it.